Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's relationship might officially be over. Justin Bieber and Hailey Baldwin are engaged. Selena Gomez has finally released a new song. She is singing about Justin Bieber after all. She says, set fire to my purpose and I let it burn. I mean, remember Justin's last album, Purpose, that came out in 2015? Hey everyone and welcome back to Exposing SMG. Today we are revisiting a topic that I like to say I have a PhD in, Justin Bieber and Hailey Baldwin. Or to be more specific, Justin and Hailey Bieber's relationship. So if you don't know, I've run a celebrity blog called ExposingSMG.com where I talk about the usual pop culture news, but the difference between here and my blog is the inside tea. For many years, I've covered Justin and Haley's relationship intensively. I even caught their attention and got a Twitter follow from both of them for some period of time. I first covered them in 2014 when they were starting to get close. I was the first to break the news about them when they started to become flirty and more romantic with each other as they navigated their friend's turn to lover storyline. I even broke the news during their initial breakup back in 2016 and all that drama. I will link some of my popular articles about them down below. As for this video, here are the 5 things you don't know about Justin and Hailey Bieber's relationship. Number 1. They didn't get back together after Justin's fling with Selena Gomez was over, but they were in contact during that time. I couldn't think of a better way to start this video off than by bringing up the juicy drama between Justin, Selena, and Hailey. Aren't we all intrigued by love triangles? So the Justin Selena Haley love triangle is one for the books. It's one of Hollywood's most intriguing love tales and it divides people immensely. You're either Team Jaylee or Team Jelena. Luckily for you, I'm a Jaylee slash Selena encyclopedia from how much information I've documented about them. Here's a quick timeline break. When Selena Gomez released Lose You To Love Me, a heartbreaking ballad about how she found love within herself after losing Justin, a specific lyric stuck out to everyone. In two months, you replaced us like it was easy. Ouch. Selena already said that the song was about Justin, so who was she talking about here? Obviously, Justin's relationship with Haley. The last Jelena interaction we got from them was in March 2018 where Selena publicly wished Justin a happy birthday for the first time ever in their on-again, off-again relationship. And then Haley confirmed in May 2018 that she and Justin are friends again. Haley said, Justin and I were friends for a long time, she said in an interview with the Times UK. I met him when I was really young and he was one of my best friends. Everybody knows that at a certain point in time, that turned into something else, but that just happens when you're 18, 19. We went through a long period of time where we weren't friends. We didn't speak for quite some time and there was a lot of weirdness that went on. We've moved past that. And from March to May is two months. In June 2018, Justin and Haley were spotted getting cuddly together at church, and then by July, Justin had proposed and the duo was engaged. I go, you want to come to the Bahamas? You're going to do that. And he goes, and he goes, yeah, what if I ask Haley to marry me there? And I looked, no lie, I replied, LOL, because it was so, it was like, you yeah, just got back here. I thought you were joking. I thought you were just being funny. She just walked down the stairs. <laughs> and you were just there. Right? I was just there at the rain, and I was shaking, and I was just like, I loved you for so long, and I just can't see myself being with anybody else. I love you so much, and I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you. Um, you marry me, and she was just like. By September 2018, Justin and Haley were legally married, and it was confirmed by them in November when he called Haley his wife in an Instagram post. When did Selena release "Lose You to Love Me"? The same month that Justin and Haley had their wedding, October 2019. So what does this all mean? Did Justin cheat on Selena with Haley? The answer is no. Simply put, Justin and Selena were never exclusive in 2018. I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but it's something that both Justin and Selena alluded to. In November 2020, Haley was on Ashley Graham's podcast where she said, 
I just don't think people knew the history because I was so private about everything, and contrary to popular belief, he had been single for a while. I just don't think people knew like the history because I was also like so private about everything, and contrary to popular belief, he had been single for a while. She said that in reference to them getting back together so soon after he was spotted with Selena. In October 2019, Selena posted on her Instagram story, I am not dating anyone. I've been single for two years. I'm on God's timing, not mine. Contrary to popular belief, he had been single, single, single. So if I do the math, two years from October 2019 would be October 2017. And November 2017 is when Selena and The Weeknd reportedly broke up. Fun fact, that relationship was speculated to be fake. But I'll link some articles that you can read down below. Anyways, Selena was also first seen with Justin in October 2017 when he came over to her house. At the time, TMZ reported that The Weeknd was all cool with that and wasn't there only because he was on tour. Then, Justin and Selena were seen a week later eating together on an intimate date, or at least that's what it looked like. By the end of October 2017, Selena was seen at Justin's house as they got very cuddly and romantic. Shortly after that, news hit the press that The Weeknd and Selena were over. So it's very interesting that both Selena and Haley claimed that Justin and Selena never got back together during that time. What's also more interesting is the intimate photos we got from both Justin and Selena at their houses, even though those houses are on private property. It begs the question, were the photos staged? Also, there was news going around about how Selena was reportedly seeing other people while being seen with Justin since they weren't exclusive. Many people speculated that Justin only reunited with Selena because she revealed in September 2017 that she got a kidney transplant that summer and he wanted to be there for her. There's definitely a lot more to this story than what Selena sings about being replaced in two months. Arguably, one could say that she replaced The Weeknd in two weeks. Let me know if you want a video about Selena and The Weeknd's weird relationship. And also, let me know what you think about Selena saying she was single while being seen with Justin and Haley also saying that Justin was single, contrary to popular belief. Number 2. Justin and Haley's breakup in 2016 wasn't a complete shock as people speculated. By December 2015, things were heating up for Justin and Haley. They spent New Year's together and even shared a New Year's kiss. Everyone assumed that they were officially dating, but it seems like they weren't exclusive just like he wasn't with Selena from 2017 to 2018. Justin and Haley actually spoke about this breakup on Instagram Live on May 12, 2020. Justin said, I think I was always honest with her though about where I was at before. I was always like, I'm in a place where I'm really not ready to fully commit, that's just not where I'm at. I don't know what's really going on in my life. He also said in a different live on Instagram that he was very unstable during the Purpose Tour, which led him to cancel the remaining few dates. At that time, obviously, there was a lot going on in my personal life, Haley and I stopped talking and all that sort of stuff, so... This wasn't the first time he spoke about why he and Haley called things off. In February 2016, he told GQ magazine, I don't want to put anyone in a position where they feel like I'm only theirs, only to be hurt in the end. Right now in my life, I don't want to be held down by anything. I already have a lot that I have to commit to, a lot of responsibilities. I don't want to feel like the girl I love is an added responsibility. I know that in the past I've hurt people and said things that I didn't mean to make them happy in the moment so now I'm just more so looking at the future, making sure I'm not damaging them. Then when it came to Haley, he said, what if Haley ends up being the girl I'm gonna marry, right? If I rush into anything, if I damage her, then it's always gonna be damaged. It's really hard to fix wounds like that. It's so hard, I just don't want to hurt her. It was clear that the Biebs was surely going through some things during that time. In that same interview, he says that he's only had one bad breakup in life, and that was with Selena. When asked about Selena, he said, We don't talk often, but we're cordial. If she needs something, I'm there for her. If I need something, she's there for me. 
Haley was even asked about Justin in February 2016 where she confirms that they weren't exclusive and that he was busy with the tour. She even says, wait for the GQ interview. We are not an exclusive couple. Um, he's about to go on tour. Relationships at this age are already complicated, but I don't like to really talk about it because it's between me and him. So, you understand. honestly the rest of the GQ article comes out tomorrow, so just read it. I mentioned Justin and Haley's bad 2016 breakup because Justin started while and out as per usual. He went on vacation with a bunch of random models in 2016 and his nudes ended up getting leaked. He was also shortly seen with Sophia Ritchie, which erupted in an Instagram fight with him and Selena after Selena got involved randomly when Justin told fans to stop bullying Sophia. The drama was hot. I can make a whole video about that 2016 summer from hell. Number 3. They share or have access to each other's Instagram accounts. Justin posts a lot of Haley on his Instagram, and if you're one of those people who believe that he married Haley but still wants Selena, then you probably believe that Haley's the one behind all the posts. The truth is, I don't think Haley is posting for herself. I mean, Justin is kind of a simp, and if there's one thing this man loves doing, it's using Instagram as his diary. He used to post Selena all the time, too. However, I feel like there might have definitely been occasions where Haley commented from Justin's account. If she's the one behind the essay captions, then that's kind of pathetic. I don't think she is necessarily, but I'd love to know what you think. The tea is, there is proof that Haley has access to Justin's account. Back in January 2020, Justin commented, duh, on some post. Haley then commented from her own Instagram account and wrote, meant to type that comment on my Instagram and accidentally typed it on Justin's, lol. And then she proceeded to write, duh, but from her account. I feel like Haley didn't need to tell everyone that, but it seemed like she wanted people to know that she has access to Justin's account. Now it's been speculated for years that the two have had access to each other's account, mainly because Justin loved to tease Haley on Instagram back when they were still flirting and dating around. Back in 2015, Haley left a comment on Justin's account saying, you're so hot, and then a few seconds later wrote again on the same post saying, you're too damn hot. Many fans believed that, that was Justin writing from Haley's account since they used to tease each other a lot in social media. Let me know what you think and what are your thoughts on couples having access to each other's accounts? Number 4. Haley was defending him long before they were together and was therefore clashing with anyone who was attacking him. Haley is younger than Justin, so there was a time where she was just a fan swooning over the big bad pop star. She was always a huge fan of Justin and engaged in the usual fan behavior. She kept up with him, talked about him on social media, stalked him, and defended him. If you ever come across those Haley hate threads or TikToks, they always seem to compare Haley and Selena, or at least bring up when Haley was shady towards Selena. It's a love triangle, so what did you think was going to happen? Haley has shaded Selena, and Selena has shaded Haley, and it was just this never ending cycle. I can make a whole video on Haley and Selena alone, but besides the point. Since Haley was a fangirl, she was tweeting about Justin and Selena's relationship and how cute they are and all that. She called them a teenage dream in 2011. She was even tweeting about how good looking Selena was in 2012. The point is, she was a fangirl. Unlike most fans, Haley ended up marrying the pop star, so there is that slight difference. As Haley infiltrated Justin's group and became more famous as she transitioned from fangirl to semi-celebrity, she started clashing with other celebrities, aka Selena. When Justin and Selena were going through their very messy and public relationship, Haley would defend Justin from Selena. Most people forget this, but Selena would go years where she would just constantly shade Justin despite both of them being single. It was truly one for the books. I have a video about that which you can watch and laugh. So back to Haley defending Justin from Selena. I remember this happening as early as 2013 when Selena made some shady dance video with her friends so were Justin when he was hospitalized. Haley took to Twitter to say, And to the people calling me immature, I think immature is taking the time to learn a dance to diss someone and posting it on the internet. Haley would also randomly jump in and defend Justin when the hate trains were going on. Even in 2015, she replied back to some random hate comment saying, We're all extremely proud of the place Justin's at now, and we stand by him no matter what. We're all human at the end of the day. We aren't here to judge him, but to love him and support him. And during this time, Selena was out cursing his name.
So I genuinely think that a big part of Justin and Haley getting back together or even getting married had to do with Haley constantly defending him when no one else was. Of course, Haley ended up clashing with those who were doing the attacking. Number five, Justin was reportedly in contact with Selena after getting back together with Haley. I'm sure we've all seen the headlines through the years about how Justin's in contact with Selena behind Haley's back, or he's trying to contact Selena to tell her that he's miserable with Haley. It's always some version of that story. However, it is true that Justin was in contact with Selena after getting married to Haley. What I know is that both Justin and Haley knew about this and it had to do with Justin checking in with Selena since she wasn't doing that good health-wise. Other than that, I don't believe there is any other truth to the rumor spread by publicists in the media about how Justin is crying to Selena about how he can't stand Haley. As Selena says, you replaced me. So it's not like anyone forced Justin to marry Haley. I think it'd be more beneficial for him career-wise if he married Selena since they are an iconic power couple, but this is their real life and it's not all Hollywood behind the scenes. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and the 5 facts we talked about today. What are your thoughts on Jaylee and what are your thoughts on Jelena? If you guys want more tea, check out my blog ExposingSMG.com or read some of the articles linked down below about Jaylee's long history. Be sure to like and subscribe for more and as always, I'll see you next time.